I'm Blaine, and my topic is alcohol in the brain, but most importantly, um, how alcohol damages your prefrontal cortex. And a study from Duke University shows that all alcohol that is consumed can lead to smaller brain sizes. And everyone in here knows someone that drinks, or even someone who drinks till they black out because we're in college. And then um, um, your prefrontal cortex controls things like memory, storage, retrieval to that information. And then most, if not all, of us in this room probably have had something to drink, per se. So it affects you from your first sip, but it does, if you stop drinking, you're able to memorize and storage will come back up. But um, alcohol, alcohol affects memory. Um, why does memory become a problem when drinking? Because drinking leads to greater shrinkage in the, the frontal cortex areas of the lobes. And then the rate of the prefrontal, cor the prefrontal cortex seems to correlate approximately with the amount of alcohol consumed. So the more you drink, the more shrinkage it will have. But then again, if you give your brain time between your next drink, it won't come back as rapidly, but you'll start to see your signs come back to normal. And then storage. Like while impaired, your brain will distort how you store information. So while you're intoxicated, you may be able to remember like a phone number. But then when you sober back up, you'll only remember like partial numbers. That's due to like the memory encoding while you're drinking. And then um, alcohol also affects the chemistry going on in your brain. It, the neuron transmitters and their axons are manipulated with alcohol. And the, this is the people I got it from. The GABA um, says it causes shrug, um, shrugish movements and slurred speech due to encoding. Again, so basically the same thing as memory. Like when you, you know what you want to say, but when you try to say it due to the chemistry in your brain, it comes out either slurred or not even making any sense. Like that's not even what you tried to say at all. And then um, this results in similar type of like physical movements too because your brain has to react with your limbs and stuff like that so it sends messages to your body and sometimes as all of us have seen someone's too drunk to try to do something that they think they can do and it ends up not working out for them at all and then um, alcohol can also lead to depression if consumed heavily and making a person less inhibited so it slows down your processing and how you relate to information and mainly for um, alcohol in the prefrontal cortex it affects the eyes, ears, and mouth the most like your sensory motor skills and then alcohol for short term effects it could um, memory delays in which people forget what they heard or what just happened in like a certain period of time. And then most of this information was found from, sadly, Duke University. I like the UNC, but Duke Medical Center has done a lot of research on this because um, like when they tailgate for, not tailgate, when, like for season tickets for Duke games, you have to camp out in front of the, wherever they play, I forget what it's called, what their coliseum or whatever. And most people like tailgate and stuff, so the med students got bored one day and they just wanted to see, like they just did a blind study pretty much and just observed people and how it affected them emotionally. And they, when they got those results, they took it back to the lab and had a student that volunteered and they hooked them up to an EEG machine which shows your brain's functions like during series of questions they had, like give them series of numbers and ask them to remember it while sober and then it showed the brain functioning I had pictures of it but it's I'm on PowerPoint but um, it showed the activity of the brain and the memory and it was all green and it was all lit up 
and then they did it while he was intoxicated. And only the a bunch of it, a bunch of light was on the prefrontal cortex because he was trying to remember the numbers, but that's as far as it went because the decoding process of memory the numbers. He couldn't remember the numbers, but it showed his brain was trying to relay the numbers out, but he couldn't remember like where they were encoded in his brain. So it was lower brain functioning while intoxicated. And that's all. Did you want to summarize? So the things alcohol messes up in your prefrontal cortex would be memory, story, retrieval, and then ultimately, if you do it enough, permanent damage and shrinking of your brain.